Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Miriam and I love everything about books. On my channel I share with you the wondrous world of books and today I'm going to share my Christmas TBR with you. Um, I've already started this TBR since it will be Christmas in like two weeks. No, not two weeks, one week. Um, so I don't think I will read all of these books for Christmas. Um, for those of you who remember, last year in December I had an enormous TBR. I still had to read 40 books in order to achieve my goal of reading 365 books in a year. For this year's reading goal I only need to finish two more books, so I can take it easy. But I did make a Christmas TBR with the same theme as last year's December TBR namely comfort and joy, so I will be reading books that bring me comfort and probably a lot of joy, therefore I'm going to reread quite a lot of books, but I'm also going to read three new books as I, and I think I will enjoy them. Uh, and the first one is a novel collection, it, the, the title is Dutch and made up by the author, not by the author, by the publisher, uh, Laat liefde niet wachten, don't let love wait, I think that is a perfect translation. And it has three Christmas novellas in it, or short stories, I think. And the first one is A Match Made at Christmas by Courtney Walls. Second is The Wondrous Gift by Deborah Rainey. And the last one is One Enchanted Christmas by Melissa Tagg. Uh, this book was, um, I borrowed this book from a fellow book lover uh, and uh, I think I will read one story and then another book and another story, book story, so you get the idea. So I won't read it at once but in parts. The next book is Dear Mrs. Bird, you've already seen this on my channel, I've already started it but I'm not further than the first chapter. So that has not changed since my last video because I wanted to read The Ranger's Apprentice book 10 before I would start my Christmas TBR. Because another book on my Christmas TBR is Ranger's Apprentice book 12, The Royal Ranger. I absolutely love this book in the series. The past year I've been reading one Ranger's Apprentice book a month. But there were some months where I did not read a Ranger's Apprentice book. So I wanted to uh, finish with The Royal Ranger in December, but I still have to read book 10. Ele book 11 is a collection of short stories, so I will skip that one this time. And I've made a deal with myself once I finished the Ranger's Apprentice series. I'm not allowed to read the books again until like five years from now because I know these stories too well and I want to read them again with well obviously I can't read them again for the first time but I think that if I wait a couple of years I will I will have forgotten at least some part of it so I'm not allowed to reread those until 2028 that sounds so far in the future Maybe I'm still YouTubing then, who knows. Anyway, Dear Mrs. Bird is also on my Christmas TBR and I absolutely love the first chapter so I can't wait what the rest is about. Another new book for me this TBR is Christmas Every Day. I don't own that book but I got an ebook in my Kobo Plus subscription. A friend of mine recommended it several times and I thought Christmas was a good time to read a book that has Christmas in the title, although I've been warned the story is not necessarily Christmassy, but I want to read it anyway. Another ebook that's on my TBR is actually a reread, and that is uh, A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. I absolutely loved the book when I read it last year, so I really want to read it again. Uh, at first, I wanted to read the entire series, so I wanted a physical copy of the three books, but uh, I haven't been to the UK the past year and I don't want to order any more books from Amazon because I have my reasons, so I would have to order from Waterstones, but shipping is very expensive, so I don't do that, so I'll just wait until I get to the UK and maybe then I will buy the collection of A Boy, Make 
A Boy Called Christmas. And there are two more books on my Christmas TBR. Both of them are rereads and one of them was actually on my Christmas TBR last year but I did not get to it and that is something to live for. I'm actually glad I did not get to it last year because last year I remembered quite a lot of the story and now I don't remember a lot of it anymore. I do know that I really enjoyed it the first time I read it and obviously I will know some of the twists and turns in the story but still I can't wait to read this book again and have the same feelings I had when I read it the first time. The last book on my Christmas DBR is Once Upon... Uh, I can't remember it. Once Upon a Wardrobe. I was like, the title is Once Upon a Wardrobe, but then I was like, that is a weird title, but it is... It is supposed to be a weird title because this is... Um, uh, well, this is obviously the Dutch translation. And it is about um, C.S. Lewis, but slightly different. It's a story, um, the main character is called Megs, and her younger brother is very ill, and he finds great comfort in the Narnia books, and therefore she decides to visit C.S. Lewis and ask what the story behind the books is. It is partly a C.S. Lewis biography, but then in a story so in a fiction book so really interesting I when I read it the first time I really loved it so um, so this Christmas I'll be reading it again I did notice that my longing for reading if you can call it that way is back uh, it's uh, in in the evening I'm more likely to grab a book and read for an hour or so than do other things and that has been gone a very long time. Maybe it's also the temperature, the weather that plays a part in this. It's very cold at the moment in the Netherlands and that really makes me want to sit down, put a blanket around me and a hot water bottle and then read for several hours. Uh, I hope I'll get through some of these books or maybe all of them. That would be lovely. Um, if you're new to my channel, if this is the first video you're watching, then welcome. Consider subscribing to my channel. Some very exciting changes are coming next year. I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, if I haven't convinced you yet, then do it now. Subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, happy reading. <laughs>